Welcome to the Whiskey Vault, where every day is Canada Day. No, just, 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 <laughs> just this week. Just this week. Just this week. Oh, oh, my bad. <laughs> he, he's a level three whiskey sommelier. He is an apprentice merch now. Yes. Moving on up. How do you apprentice under? The Great Whiskey Spirit Eagle. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. What are those meetings like? And where do you hold them? Very screechy. <laughs> a lot of screechy. This is Two Brewers Yukon Single Malt. Can I tell you this right now? Yes. This isn't uh, generic Canadian whiskey. No. At all. Very different on the nose. Oh, it smells really good. Yeah. Interesting. This is... Uh, and it's a peated oh, release. That's why I'm thinking scotch. Yes. So they used a percentage of peat mixed with a percentage of unpeated malt, yeah. I think. Um, so, so this is two brewer, two guys in the Yukon started a brewery. It's a Bob and Allen of Yukon Brewing. And then a little while later, they decided, why don't we also distill things? And so they started doing small batch stuff right. and putting them into barrels. And they've got a ton of variations. Mm -hmm. yeah. They are not doing giant mass releases. They're doing sure. really small sure. releases. So these prove my rule of thumb very wrong. Yeah, well, I've, I've said before, if you know, it starts as a, as a brewery, it's not, it's not a hard and fast rule. Not even if it starts only as a brewery. If it starts focusing on some other kind of spirit, and then they do a whiskey as, oh yeah, we'll try that too. Mm -hmm. Those usually, not all the time, those usually aren't amazing whiskeys. But on I the nose. I haven't tasted this yet. On the nose, this smells pretty magnificent. Yeah. And I am getting that... That's um, exciting. I'm, I'm getting the actual... It's exciting. Uh, I'm excited. I'm not getting ashy smoke notes. I'm getting the peat of the peat smoke. It's not a dark, heavy peat though. It's like no. a lighter. This reminds me of Deanston. Okay, this is more peaty the than- The honeysuckle with a little bit of peppery notes. More peaty than Deanston, but in terms of the sweeter notes, I, I, I could agree. Okay, I'm going. Dude. Yes, but. I like this. But? It's young. Yes. It's shiny. Yes. Yes. It's nice for, I'm assuming this is pretty damn young. Mm -hmm. It's got some good notes, enough character to be interesting, mm -hmm. but this fades away pretty quick. Yeah, but it's good. It has none of the weird right. flaws that things like this have had in my experience. Not super oily, so it's not gonna stay with you a long time. But that peat lingers at the end. That's what that's what you're left with. Well, you're left with that side of medicinal. It's a thin peat, and mm -hmm. it doesn't last for days. Mm -mm. That's the last thing you're left with, but everything, for the most part, starts to fade away pretty quick. But up front, it's all milk chocolate, and is it cookies? No, I'm getting. No, I'm not, I'm not getting. I'm focused on more of the peaty stuff. It's like mm -mm. the the light vegetation. I'm trying to find what the sweetness reminds me of. Mm. All right, you think about that. It's I'll almost almondy. Almondy? Yeah, there's something you, in you, there. You're throwing around almondy like you know something. Yeah. There's something in there that I can't put my finger on. You've already got some. Apprentice. Wow, what is it? I'm not getting the almond. Not getting the almond. We've got the shahi. The taste. We're, we're, we're okay. I'm buckling. We can do this. Shahid Naqshabandi. Naqshabandi? Naqshabandi. Yes, Shahid Naqshabandi. Rex, I think giving your rat tail to Daniel gave him a touch of the mooch, mooch immunity. <laughs> Similar to using snake venom and anti-venom. Yeah, so it's like when I'm wearing the hobbit helm, uh, I'm immune right. to your powers. Yeah, but you look like an ass. So yeah, it's, it's a, like a give it's and take. It's a bit of a trade-off. It's like yeah. a give and take. It's like you have uh, plus four fortification, but minus six stealth. <laughs> it's super video game. <laughs> uh, back porch puffer. I ordered a three liter oak barrel that's mm -hmm. been charred and will be filling it with Evan Williams, my everyday bourbon. Fair enough. Will it round the edges off? Probably not. Possibly make it better, make it worse. My plan is on the porch for a week in Georgia, then a week in the house for a month or two, and then maybe a couple of days in the freezer. Uh, trying to simulate seasons. Is this the good plan or just a waste of time? You know what? I think it'd be fun to try. I don't know that it'll do much. Now remember a new oak barrel like that that's charred. Um, depending on how high you put the... Actually, Evan Williams is going to be, what, 40? The classic Evan Williams. You know what? 
I am getting a little bit of ashiness on this two brewers. A little bit of the ashy Very peat. Great. Less of the savory meaty peat and more of an ashy peat. So you're gonna get peat. I should emphasize the T. Like Daniel's meat. Yeah. I should put you're going to get um, probably a lot of the wood sugars out of that new barrel, but you're gonna get really high evaporation. You will not get months out of that barrel. You'll get weeks out of that barrel. Yeah, I got a buddy um, who put a full bottle of, I think it was like uh, Rebecca Creeker mm -hmm. or something simple like that. He put it in one of the small barrels within six months. Totally gone. Mm -hmm. You won't have months. But um, it'll be interesting. It'll definitely be interesting. Mm -hmm. It'll probably make it a little more oaky than you're prepared for. But then you'll have a used barrel. Mm -hmm. And you can put something else in it. It'll be more of the mellowing effect. Uh, remember that in a house where you have climate control, one of the jobs of an air conditioning unit is to remove humidity from the air and that increases evaporation dramatically. So keeping it in your house is actually going to, outside the heat will cause evaporation, inside you won't have the heat cause evaporation, but you will have the fact that a low humidity caused more evaporation. Right, you're going to get Glen Scotia because I think that was the the Canadian that also reminded me of a Scotch no, type of thing. No, 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 no. We're not doing what, Glen Scotia. What was the Glen Scotia? No, there was no, a, I want to test it. What was Scotch. the Canadian? What was the Canadian that, that was, reminded us of Scotch? That was Glen Scotia. So why not compare? Because I don't want to compare it to another thing that it's pretending to be. I want to I want to compare it to an actual to the Scotch? thing that it's reminding me of. You think it's like a thinner Kulila? No. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's a thinner Kuila. I will bet you. No, it's too bright. All um, of the cash in this room. There's no cash in this room. Belfry, it looks like Rex was tickling Daniel to get that whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> Maker's Mark Private Select. Whiskey's so good, you'll tickle another man for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Personal space. Yes. Invasion. That's a great ad. <laughs> I think if you get Kilomen, the 100% Isla, yeah. and you add a little bit of a more sweet whiskey to it, right. then you're going to get what we're drinking right here. Okay. Uh, so, this, there was a concern prior. Oh, yes. Just didn't even hit the rim. There it's was actually a, pretty close to it. There was a concern prior, prior to this final haircut that it would be freaking out my 18 month old daughter. Oh yeah, and right. I got I got twelve year old a boy, eight year old boy, and an eighteen month old daughter. So I put on the beanie, and then she's sitting with me. We're hanging out. We're playing. We're playing the games, and then little by little, I'm taking it back until finally it's completely off. And she looks at me, very curious, stands up on, on my lap, and then gives me one of these, and then she's good. Joey, that's it. My two boys. She's a trooper. My two boys wouldn't look at me for forty eight hours. He was like, nope, not doing it, Dad. I finally got him. There you go. I finally got him. Gideon, my youngest. Mm -hmm. uh, I walk out the front door, and we have one of these portals in the door, right? Walk out the front door, and then immediately I turn around, because he always follows me out to the door. I put my head in the portal, I knock on the... And he turns to <laughs> He turns around, he's like, no! <laughs> <laughs> I see you! All right, try that. All right. This is... Uh, this is um, more intense. This is mm -hmm. richer. Older, certainly. Mm -hmm. Some of it is, for sure. Yeah, man. Directionally? Mm -hmm. It's the right direction. Yeah. Um, so I just blended a little bit of Deanston and Kilonen yeah, yeah. together. And that has more character, more richness, but... Yes, but it's... If this had more time, mm -hmm. we might have gotten that direction. Yeah, this enough. is the 07 release, by the way. Fair enough. How was your class? You taught a class the last two days. It was good. Yeah. I'm tired. The class was stellar. Yeah. Amazing students. Yeah. Doing that following the grand opening might have been a poor choice on my part of scheduling. <laughs> but I had but we gotta we gotta hold classes at the academy. That's what we're here for. So Yeah. I'm tired just thinking about that. Yeah. Like you know how it feels to teach a class. I, oh my Imagine God. having spent the grand opening right. and then following it with Wednesday, Thursday They teaching. have classes here that are three days? Yeah. Nope. I've taught those too. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Nope. <laughs> like it's fun, but it's the scene from uh, it's the scene from the uh, the the, 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 br the princess bride. Yeah, I've sucked one year from your life. This is the, what uh, it feels to have ten years removed from your yeah. life. 
This is why if you go look back, I was showing this class some of the early videos from the vault. Oh, yeah. And uh, my beard, <laughs> so honestly, hold like on. the very, very, I showed them the very, very first video I ever shot in here. Yeah, fair enough. Look, my beard does not look like this in that first video. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> Rex stressed the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, these are these are good. Is that the original, the Canadian one? This is the Canadian. Let me try this one again. This is yeah, this is the thing. So. I like the direction they're headed in. Yeah, well yeah. done. If you're, if you're, I might even pick this as one of my, one of my top ten Canadian whiskeys. How much is it? I have no idea. Well then, it was a gift. By the way, Canadian Week is brought to you by Teresa Smith. Teresa Smith, you better do it. And Patreon Saint now. Bears, Eagles. Where we are. What was that? <laughs> that's the, 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 You're headed to the Weddell. That's the crunchy guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, a fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.